All right, so it is 3.08 p.m. right now. For some reason, last night I went to bed at probably 9, I think. Yeah, I went to bed at like 9 a.m., which is ridiculous. I don't know why that happened. So my sleep schedule just went from like very decent to complete shit in one night. But my friend Jonathan from Alaska, see, Jonathan is okay. a, he's like a class 10 Delta Marine Ranger <laughs> Army Force <laughs> nuclear weapon missile dealer, whatever, right? So he's back, and him and Dante came into my house this morning and woke me the fuck up which I'm extremely thankful for, otherwise I would just not gotten out of bed at all. So, haven't eaten a single thing today, took pre-workout, gave everyone pre-workout, and we're about to all go to Tilton and fucking kill it, right Dante? Yep. Sure about that? Yep. Wanna be, wanna be all things. Trying hard to be someone else. Giving us, giving no time to breathe This is our identity Alright, so that workout was concluded. It was super fast. I actually had to rush then because John, he needs to pretty much go get a car. He has to like visit a few family members and stuff today and he doesn't really have much time. But Dante, tell him what happened today. I did 225. He finally got it. Clean. And all it took, right, was that hard slap on the back, running into his set super quick with that huge adrenaline rush. And when you get to the staking point, you just need to get yelled at. And that just ensures the weight gets locked out no matter what. And he got it. Huge PR. Yeah, finally. John, where were you? What's up? You literally ran past us. Where did you go? Oh shit, you're like lumberjack status again. There you go. <laughs> All right, so we're driving home right now, and Cornelius, right? Cornelius, what do you want to do more than anything in the world right now? Fucking whip Dante's ass and cod. That, and he also really wants to fly the Mavic. Oh, oh so. yeah, 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 I really want to. I fly can't tell if the lights are on. It's uh, you gotta. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. There you go. Now they're on. But yeah, so. See, like. In Black Ops 2, there was this thing called a dragonfly, and it was like a drone. I was so nice at shooting that shit and flying around, like going through windows and everything, so the drone's kind of like the dragonfly. And I'm pretty sure the mode that I fly in, which is like stick mode 1, is the same that like video games and stuff. It's probably easy for you. 
I don't know, it's all wet and sloppy and shit. <laughs> no, this thing, it's about to fall the fuck off. Oh yeah, 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 there's a piece of gum in there trying to hold it together. Oh you know what's funny? Like my yeah, camera rig set up my big camera at home costs more than this car. I can see that. This car's a piece of shit. Alright guys, I don't know if this is gonna be a new vlog or the continuation of a vlog that I like half filmed some other day, but it's probably gonna be that, but me and Cornelius right now, right? He has to go to Best Buy. He has to get some headphones and shit like that, and I kind of want to get a desk, which I'll explain later. What time is it right now? It's 3.30. Yeah. It's 3.40. We have to be home by 6 because he has to do something at 6. We have to move his couch or something like that. And I kind of just woke up, coincidentally, at 3. So to go to 7-Eleven right now and get some milk so I can go home, put it in my shake, and blend that up to drink that while we're driving to Best Buy above the speed limit. <laughs> so yeah, let's get, the, uh, let's get the milk. So Cornelius was looking at my keychain, right? He noticed some that's not supposed to be there. He was like, can I take it off? I was like, I mean, yeah, like, sure, like, if you want to, why not? So we took it off, right? And then I noticed him chewing on something. I'm like, yo, are you get Jolly Rancher, what flavor is that? I was like, oh no, I'm just chewing on that fucking Island Gym membership that I took off, no big deal. How does that taste? <laughs> it didn't taste that bad, actually. Does it taste like vengeance? Yeah, but. It tastes like, a, to be honest, it tastes like kind of rubbery. And made my I mean, I, I, I do like to flavor my key tags when I have them on my <laughs> chain, so that makes a lot of sense. Did you know you could park over here? It's a cheat code. There was like know three that. cops here yesterday. Fuego. That's what? Takis. The hottest chips ever? Yeah, Fuego. You have to See, try one. I don't like spicy hot stuff, so I'm going to stay away from that. But we got ripped off of this little container of milk, which should be just enough for any shake that I'm gonna make today. Then we have to go to like a proper like shopping store and get more food. And this is my new cheat code item. Instead of heavy whipping cream, we have light cream. And I'm pretty sure this is like half milk, half heavy whipping cream. And it's a lot easier to drink, less lethargic. It's like a lot less concentrated fat. And this has a lot of calories in it. It's super easy to drink. So if you take one shot, like cheat code chocolate muffin, tons of If you take one cheat code muffin from Sam's Club, right, with like the 620 calories, like a chocolate muffin, drink it with this you got yourself over 2500 calories like that just like that you look at this thing that just looks that looks like a, hot. looks like a hellboy's left <laughs> pinky it just looks like evil but the reason i know about this cheat code is because me and cornelius yesterday had this crazy uh impulse purchase we decided to go to gamestop and i bought the ps4 pro and then me i went to shop right right across the street to get a 4K TV, but then I went to fucking shop right to get a TV, right? It's kind of a weird thing. So I got both of those and I sat up in my room and I was like, wow, like, I don't like the way this TV is kind of like slanted on the ground, kind of looks all sloppy and stuff. So, while well, Cornelius is at Best Buy now, after we go to Best Buy, get his headphones, we're gonna go to Staples, which is a few, like, I don't know, 30, 40 steps down, and hopefully they have a nice little desk there to work so I can go home, mount a TV with it. That'll be super convenient. So, but first things first, we gotta go home, make this shake so I can drive there. Check this out, Gymshark sent this extremely nice Christmas Gymshark limited edition sweater. It's absolutely awesome. Can't wait to wear that on Christmas, Christmas Eve. Got the rim ice Got my shake right here. Cornelius took some ice cream from the freezer, then he put it in the microwave, right? So that's guaranteed cancer. And I was eating it with a, with a spoon, so yeah. We're gonna go to Best Buy. Hopefully get everything done, so yeah. Let's go. Oh, Cornelius, show them what you got. Got some Sony headphones, finally, because my beats blow. Yeah, literally everyone around here has these Sony headphones out. Like, literally everybody, right? I was gonna get myself another pair, I was gonna get a gray pair, like a silver pair, but they didn't have them, so I'm not gonna get it, no big deal. And we're gonna get this little stand, only 279, not too bad. I think it will fit. I think it won't just fit, so I think it'll be good. I'm gonna get that. that then we're gonna go to shop right which is just over there get some right. beanbag chairs one for my room one for the living room did i say shop right yeah you said shop right <laughs> i meant target target we found the beanbag chairs and we have one that we're definitely gonna get oh, it's nice and perfect this and this is like, and this is only 30 bucks and this is like it just doesn't work yeah there's there's no backrest on this this one's like for smaller people this is for Tyrion lannister but like it's only 63 bucks. It's still the cost of this one. This is the third one right here. This is my Joffrey Thomas little seat. We're getting that. Boom, done. All right, super satisfied with today's purchases. The, my only concern is that the little stand that I got, 
I didn't like take measurements or anything. I just eyeballed it and it should fit based off like what I think when Cornelius agrees too, but I don't know, we'll have to see if it fits. Everything's perfect. Got the V mag, everything's cool, but when we were on sub checkout, we saw the teriyaki beef jerky for only three dollars and eighty nine cents or like two dollars eighty nine cents per pack, so you can't say no to that, so we're gonna have some. And right now before we go home we have to stop by EHT somewhere because Cornelius needs to I move get a this. couch for my he sister. You need to move some uranium into the basement and stuff. I don't know why, but I was told not to ask questions. So yeah, we're gonna go do that. <laughs> well, we just had the sketchiest side mission ever. Wow, where is he going? Where is he going? <laughs> Are we going up there? No, my mom's right there. Alright, we'll be here. What, just tell them about this GTA mission we're on right now. It's like, alright, so my sister's in North Carolina. And I think we're picking up a couch. My mom's telling us to move oh, up. Oh shit, she's telling us to move up. Okay. And like, I don't know, we're at some old dude's house, picking up a couch. Don't know who that guy is. This is kind of scary. All right, but I have no idea where we're at. It's horrifying. <laughs> I'll be right back. Curtains on it. <laughs> Scare the fuck out of me. It was like some satanic evil murder. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> Good lighting on this. Whoa. That's scary. But yeah, so pretty much we just have to move a couch from some house into this large truck that you're about to see pass through your peripherals to this wide angle of the GoPro. And then we have to move another couch from the same house into a different room. Look, look at that. That's kind, of, that's kind of a wrong drive. That's an like ox car. All right, so what, what do we just go straight now? Uh, I guess so. All right, so. You want a GPS set? No, if I just get out of here, I'll be good. But yeah, we're gonna go home now. We have another pair of Sony's just rocking it out right there, just completely jamming out. And this thing is probably the heaviest thing we carried all day. We have to bring that all the way into here and really start setting it up. Move that mirror, set all this up, and I might time lapse it. So yeah, let's start. In a very sloppy manner, we got all this stuff out. Super sloppy manner, so yeah, let's try to figure it out. Let's get the instructions. It's not going through. Uh, yeah. What is that? Huh? What is that? Piece of the puzzle. I guess let's just, here. Get yourself another knife from the kitchen and start opening shit. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, hey, we all have a fucking tooth. Where's the little one? Just get a fucking knife, Cornelius. I don't know where your little ones are today. Fuck! It bends? What a puss- What a- <laughs> What a pussy knife! <laughs> That's like a dildo knife. Look at the top. It's not even sharp. Dude. It's like round. That's so annoying. I don't think I really got it. I don't think. Uh, before we go back up? Yeah. Wow, this thing's a lot How nice, that's clever though. Yeah. Dude, I thought we were gonna sit here for like an hour trying to put all the. Oh, what's that on the glass? Oh, what? That's fucking beautiful. Look at this. This is so organized and nice and clean. It even has a marker to scribble in scratch parts. I can get over all of my problems. I've been thinking who the fuck am I to disagree? I heard I'm pretty dope, so I guess I gotta oblige inside. I've been planning on the way that we could elevate. I'm massacre the track with your skill, I never hesitate. I put a lot of time into the crap to make it resonate. I regulate with repetition, I could be the greatest. But ever me illogical, the other have a lady. Practice all the patients that I got in my attendant mind. I minimize the ignorance, so in a minute, I make it relatable, evade the negativity at all. All right, guys, I'm back in the big DSLR, and I just got done cleaning my room, rearranging everything, pretty much polishing, pretty much polishing it up is what I'm trying to say. And Cornelius just got home from baseball. We're about to go to the gym, but before we go, I want to show you guys and him the new clean room at the same time. Cornelius, yeah. it is time. It is time to come. Oh, are you ready for this? Do you know what it looked like before? Yeah, are you ready? Now here, no, walk, yeah, walk in with your eyes closed. Come here, give me a hand. Eyes closed. Walk in. Eyes closed. Do not open yet. Don't even bu Tight him shut. Close him shut. Fart. Sit down in this chair. You can't see the chair. Shit. Go back. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Don't. Eyes closed. Sit. Sit. Ooh, now ready. Nice. Open on three, two, one. 
damn. Right? There's so much room. Right? Look how much more room is in this room now. It's all, look, we have a massive. Oh, shit. And you clean it up nice. That's so nice. How clean is this? Look. What? So I don't, know if, I don't know if I said this earlier in the vlog, but we got that TV at Shopper at 55 inches, 4K. Steel. And we have a PlayStation Pro right there with the Return to Arkham games. And we get a few more games for that nice little stand. You sit in this beanbag chair. You play. You have a good time in this little gaming station. You could also play from the bed right there, watch a few movies, just chill out. This is nice as hell. The lamp over there yeah. and everything. Yeah, look, we put and we put the mirror over here. If so you get like one of those big chargers, you can put it right here. Yeah. And then it can go right to you. Alright, I'll do something like that. Alright guys, it's 9.25 p.m. already, so obviously we're not going to be like taking any like real pre-work or anything like that. So the thing that we are going to take is actually have a water boiling in the kitchen right now. Me and Cornelius, we're just going to take some hot chocolate. That's it. Nice, tasty, warm drink. Kind of get our bodies warm. It has a little caffeine in it too, so it's kind of a win-win. So yeah, another thing, right? I'm wearing knee sleeves today. I actually wore these my last leg day and it pretty much felt amazing. Now, I've been using the SBD knee sleeves for a while, then a silent mic, he sent me these, these are the super training ones, and I like lost them for a while, then I found them when I moved into the new house, and I put them on, and God, are these things so fucking tight, like they're ridiculously tight, and they're kind of like painful too, but how nice my squats felt, I'm gonna have to suck it up, and I'm gonna use these again. Ah, <laughs> ooh, these things are tight. There we go, that's good for that one. Cool thing about extreme knee sleeves like this, and like the SPDs for example, is that once they're on, wherever they're on, they're not gonna slide whatsoever. I know with the Ray-Ban knee sleeves, I kinda had that issue. All right, knee sleeves are on right here. Super tight, gonna put long sleeve pants on top of that, and a hoodie, and if you guys can hear that sound, that's the water boiling, so let's make that hot chocolate. All right guys, so pretty much ready. This is what I'm gonna wear to the gym today. Some nice long sleeve Gymshark pants, and I'm wearing actually a little slim hoodie on top of this because when I sweat, I like to just be overall warmer throughout my entire body, and plus my belt hurts less because I have like extra like layers of cushion. Just like I feel just like overall better, more powerful. I'm also pretty hungry right now because I haven't eaten much today. Because as soon as I woke up, pretty much me and Cornelius we went for like that shopping stuff to get the that desk and pretty much everything. When I got home, couldn't really eat either because I was setting it up, and now it's pretty much time to go to the gym. The only thing I had was like pretty much a big shake, and I drank a bunch of light cream. So I'm really really hungry now, but. I'm gonna suck it up. I'm gonna drink a lot of Gatorade during my workout to like kind of quench the hunger. And then after my workout, we'll probably go to Denny's or I'll go home. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm gonna eat a lot of food. And for once in my life, it's gonna taste great. Cornelius, are you hungry? Starving. You're starving? I'm absolutely starving, but we made these little hot chocolates. Which one do you want? Right. This one? Yeah, I'm doing it There you go. Pre workout number one. Pre workout number two. Nice little uh, Christmas themed pre workout, I guess you could say. We may have uh, cracked open 100 milligrams of 1,3-dimeth in here, but we definitely did not, because it's 10. He may have, this is crazy. So we found my little guest bath thing, which means Cornelius can get them for free. For some reason, I smell like food right now. Like, I don't even know what it is. It, it smells, smells delicious. Doesn't it smell delicious? Oh my god, it smells so oh, good. Oh, not to do ugly, scary, like, difficult, like, squats and like, oh, I just, I just want a hamburger. Yeah, That's right. all I want. So Dave, what happened? Why are you so angry? I forgot my adding powers. I forgot my squat this is but the thing is if it was great bay right and i forgot my squat shoes i'd be fucked i'd have to squat on my flip-flops to go barefoot but the fact that i live only like a minute or two away it's not a big deal but i'm still very pissed off about it so i got the shoes and today i have to do a top set of three and then three back off sets of eight and then a few like accessories that's the main thing i'm gonna do i have it on my phone so max set of three I've been thinking who the fuck am I to disagree? I heard I'm pretty dope, so I guess I gotta oblige inside. I've been on the way that we get elevated. Mess I could have track with your skill, I never hesitate. I put a lot of time into the craft and make it resonate. I regulate with repetition, I could be the greatest. But ever me a logical, the other have a lady. Practice all the patience that I got in my attendant. Mind I'm in the mother, the ignorance, so in a minute, I make it relatable, evade the negativity at all costs. Trying to find my way, I'm feeling so lost. Find me in the 
the zone, I gotta focus But that can be an issue, I'm addicted to the work It's all I ever wanna do, pursue the purpose that I'm pleading for And need a more to pity, many minuscule opinions Picking apart the immaculate, happily yeah. apathetic And actually authentic, the sentence is sentimental Like the words are just a piece of my soul, I trust send it to the artists that I wanna be I demonstrate my dominance, a derelict with dialect My etiquette is excellence, I dedicate my all to this I solemnly swear it, I serenade with selections of different cadences yeah. to kill it, really is that hidden this And anyone that wants the truth that we present to be identified I live a meager life, I'm motivated by progression Cause a year ago nobody paid attention so they get it I'm persistent with the effort, I give my declaration Dedicated to the devil, me definitely concerned that I prefer to be a parent, I purchase all of the verses Only way to get it over my chest, oh lord If it's a problem, I solve it privately, punish them off I punish with powerful poems, compose a dope creation Case in point, I'm standing it, proven's an elusive dream I used to be infatuated And now it's just reality, I'm managing my temperament My time to capitalize is infinite The wisdom I'm attaining from trial and effort is priceless I pride myself on putting the music before my sanity Saying you will all about with alliteration and empathy The lack of recognition is starting to feel my energy You know you made it when you're receiving hate from an enemy Your rather this was never an option Here's a synopsis said I'm knocking out whoever you consider in the king I kick him off the throne, I want it I'ma take it as my property and properly prepare to go to war With any challenge or battle and kind of see people trying for me to finish it Reminiscing of the legends that left remarkable legacies I said that I'm ahead of my time, I am You could never understand the headspace I'm in I live in a Writing a ballad, giving a lyrical ballad, working to find out a balance, dealing with every challenge, but it's a struggle meticulously adjusting my train of thought to be positive, transformed to a phoenix. And we just trying to give you something you remember, we the illest nigga, don't ever forget it. Loud. And we just trying to give you something you remember, we the illest nigga, don't ever forget it. Loud. And we just trying to give you something you remember, we the illest nigga, don't ever forget it. Loud. And we just trying to give you something you remember, we the illest nigga, don't ever forget it. Uh, knowledge. Transform.